Welcome to today's Research Business Daily Report with news that Twitter is barring U.S. intelligence agencies from the use of its analytic tools. And then four tips to better understand the marketing customer path, which keeps changing, by the way. RBDR is sponsored today and this week by QOasis, a self-service marketing research solution designed for market research professionals. The only platform that delivers industrial strength, easy-to-use, unrestricted survey building blocks, and at no cost to you. And it's powered by the industry expertise of Socratic Technologies, which has been around with us for 22 years. The Wall Street Journal reported that Twitter is cutting U.S. intelligence agencies off from the use of Data Miner. That is a privately owned data analytics service that Twitter actually has a 5% ownership share in. Data Miner can analyze huge volumes of social media content for emerging news and trends in real time. The journal said Twitter has become concerned about being seen as too cozy with federal agencies because of potential trust perceptions with the public. A Twitter public announcement said it has never authorized data miner or any third party to sell data to a government or intelligence agencies with surveillance purposes in mind. Moving on, Scott McFarland, the chief content marketer and digital strategist, stated on Huffington Post about marketing to customers being an ever-changing art. And then he went out to lay out four new keys to such a process. With prospects bombarded daily on their multiple devices, with messaging from digital and traditional methods, McFarland wrote that marketers must simplify the customer path and suit one suit their own needs. So he said, first, find out the length of your sales cycle, which obviously is going to be different from business to business, brand to brand, etc. Now that may require some research. It could involve getting sales involved, in fact it probably does, and also reviewing existing CRM data. Step number two, define what a conversion to your product or brand is so that you know when it is happening in the customer path. Now this may be a point in time when the prospect moves from uninterested to an interested state of mind. Step three, it's vital to learn how many touch points go into reaching a conversion and it will be different from situation to situation. Fourth, find out where in the customer path a conversion should occur and how many touch points are needed, what message is needed, and keep reviewing both of those and the path itself. And actually, there was a fifth point that McFarlane made. Get a complete grasp of the next touch point in the customer path, which he said will be explained by determining the length of the sales cycle. That's your Research Business Daily Report, sponsored by QOasis, a self-service marketing research solution for market research professionals. It is the single platform that delivers industrial strength, easy to use, unrestricted building blocks, and it is free to all users and is powered by the 22-year industry expertise of Socratic Technologies. QOasis is a substantive step up in do-it-yourself research work. You might consider it as a much lower cost professional system that could fit nicely in with tactical surveys that you're doing. And if you use it, it will thereby help you in saving consulting costs. QOasis also is state of the art. It automatically optimizes your research initiative for desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. It supports complex logic control, seamlessly integrates and immediately accesses dashboard quality results. And then it also offers gamification, drag and drop capability, and if you want to do analytics, well, the Socratic technology people are there to help you get that done as well. And again, it's all for free. The URL on the screen to my right will take you to the homepage for QOasis information do yourself a favor and check it out. Have a great research day and we'll back, be back here to see you again tomorrow.